Hello, good morning, and welcome to St. Cuthbert Main Parish. Rather than a daily reflection on the scriptures this morning, I thought the weather is so glorious that we just have a brief walk around the grounds here. Uh, very beautiful grounds, starting with the house, uh, the presbytery, which seems a strange place to start rather than church. But the truth is that this house used to belong to the Langdons. It's a lot older than what it looks. And the Langdon family, Charles Langdon, was an Anglican, became a Catholic, became a Catholic priest. And he used the front room of this house, which is now the, uh, which is now my office, he used to use to celebrate mass and he converted into a chapel. So interestingly, uh, the chapel existed here and mass was celebrated in the house before the church was even built in 1911. Charles Langdon was the priest who had the church there built and his brother Arthur was the architect. So he kept it all in the family. And this here is the churchyard, the graveyard, which we're really lucky to have. It's very unusual in this country to have a churchyard right next to the church like this. But it's a, it's a beautiful place with very, some very interesting characters buried here and many of our parishioners. Um, and in the background is the church, so it's a lovely thing to be able to celebrate a funeral mass, a requiem mass, and then process directly into the churchyard for the burial. And then actually we can move down the drive straight to the parish hall where we can have the reception. Yeah, on another occasion we'll have a look inside the church and around the church, but suffice to say for now that uh, the patron saint of the church is St Cuthbert Main. St Cuthbert Main was a priest martyr, a seminary, the first seminary priest martyr um, during the Reformation. He was arrested, he ministered in Cornwall, he was arrested and he was placed in the dungeon at Launceston Castle, which I'll show you in a moment, but I'll show you now. Um, he was imprisoned there in the castle, which is just behind the trees. And then eventually he was taken to be uh, hung, drawn and quartered, which happened in the square of Launceston Town. And for many, many years, there was an annual pilgrimage here in his honor. And at its peak, which was the late 1970s, the early 1980s, there were over 7,000 Catholic pilgrims used to come to Launceston for the pilgrimage, including myself as a child. Uh, we still hold the pilgrimage today, not an annual pilgrimage, once every three years in a much simpler kind of way. Um, and we still venerate the relic, we have his holy relic here, this skull, uh, which is kept in the church. And the skull still has the hole through the top of the skull where Cuthbert Main's head was placed on a pike on Launceston Castle Gate in order to deter Catholics from their faith. So St Cuthbert Main, who kept the faith in very challenging times, uh, it's great inspiration for us today in these difficult and challenging times, very different, different challenges, um, but an inspiration for us as well to keep the faith, keep close to God and keep practicing our faith. Uh, here's a prayer that is taken from the last day to offer, so let us pray. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless us and keep us safe. Defend us, prepare us, that safe from the enemy we may persevere always in your love. Amen. In St Cuthbert, Maine, pray for us. God bless you.